Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we got this in. So, uh, one of the things I've, as I've mentioned in some prior videos, uh, my first up air, which I crashed and the gimbal was damaged and stuff, and I worked up another gimbal and different things. Uh, I really enjoyed flying that, um, but you know, it got, it was pretty beat up um, and it was pretty hacked up. Uh, because there was damage to the motherboard and I reworked some things and stuff like that. And one of the big things, I, I felt it a little bit of a safety concern because I couldn't really tell when it had satellite locks because there was no real feedback mechanism because the OSD obviously was damaged. So one of the things I did is I sold that for parts on eBay and I went ahead and I purchased one of these. So Phantom 2 is about $295 and uh, one of the things I really like about this is the fact it doesn't have a camera setup so I can come up with whatever I want. So I love the Phantom 3, uh, but that integrated camera means I have to live with whatever camera's on it and that gimbal without taking it off and doing a whole bunch of other stuff. And it's sort of integrated with the OSD and I'm just, you know, want to be able to do something different where I can design something. So I went ahead and I got this guy. So um, I want to do a little bit of an unboxing here. Um, you know, the Phantom 2 is a little bit old news. This is the Phantom 2 version 2 that I picked up. And again, I picked it up for a little bit sub 300, and uh, it is uh, factory sealed, so that's cool. So, um, let's see how this comes open. It's a little bit interesting. So there we have it. The Spirit of Flight. Always love how DJI packs DJI packs their stuff. I gotta watch it because if I say DGI, somebody's definitely gonna write me and say, "Hey, it's DJI." So, uh, tomatoes, tomatoes. So, uh, the future of possible. So, a nice little thing. I'm assuming there's some books. And again, there's a bit of a wrapper here uh, to seal this. Let's see if I can take this off without cutting it so I save it. I like to try to maintain, especially for something like this, as much of the packaging as I can in the original form, especially, you know, if I go to resell it on eBay. Um, because one of the things I have had to clear out some of the uh, drones, they kind of been multiplying. So let's go ahead, open this up, and here's what it looks like. Make sure I get everything in. So very nice, atypical uh, DJI configuration. Uh, definitely a little bit lighter than the um, uh, Phantom 3. And of course, probably without uh, that. The battery looks uh, 5200 milliamp uh, intelligent flight battery. Looks fully charged. That's interesting. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised. It is different than, uh, definitely different than the... Uh, uh, Phantom 3. I don't know if you can see inside there. So I think there's four on the three Phantom 3, four connectors for the smart intelligent battery, and there's only two here. Uh, definitely getting lighter. And here is the uh, gimbal output. Uh, and then it's got another opening here. And uh, it's got a USB port. You can kind of see the USB port in there. So that's rather interesting. It's got the four holes for the gimbal. I'm actually going to probably pull this back up. I don't know if I'm going to actually use the uh, uh, gimbal, or it looks like a DF13 connector for the um, gimbal configuration. And it looks like it's got the compass on the outside here and the antenna strapped up here. And here, very nicely done. Um, let's see what else we have. We have the controls. So uh, I like. Um, so we have GPS, Addy, and Addy. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, and then we have off. And then I think uh, hover land. Return to home. So it's got the controls, got the antenna. Now it's got a very similar connector here as the Phantom 3. So one of the things I'm really considering doing is getting the Argitech uh, upgrade and put it on here, even if it is just for the. Um, uh, 5.8 gig antenna, or actually, sorry, this is a 2.4 gig antenna uh, on the Phantom 2. So this is 2.4 gig version. Uh, I'm assuming that this is probably the charger and stuff. Yep, charger looks very much like the Phantom 3s. 
Um, also comes with some international plugs, which is interesting. And um, I'm throwing stuff on the floor. Propellers look the same. I don't know if these if this will take a Phantom 3 prop or not, but it sure looks like Phantom 3 style props. Uh, what is this? This is something interesting. I don't know what this actually uh, is. It's a very nice little screwdriver. Kind of surprising. It came in a static sensitive pouch. Yeah, you know, so you flip it over, you have regular and Phillips, so that's kind of a nice touch. Um, assume to be able to work on this. So let's go ahead and I want to take these uh, off here. There's something else here. Uh, looks like um, some wrenches and stuff in here. Allen wrenches and extra screws. I'm not sure what for, but okay. So let's go ahead and take this, get this out of the way, and let's bring this over here. So, uh, it's kind of curious. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this, see how heavy. So that's about uh, 460 grams for the copter, and about... 274. So the interesting piece is the battery is probably half the weight of this um, copter. So I'm just kind of looking at how it all fits together. Um, which I'm a little bit interested why they give you um, why they give you these screwdrivers because it uh, looks like either Allen's or Allen wrenches or Torx in here. Make sure I get this in. So to pop this cover off and everything, you know, you could take the uh, landing legs off, but uh, that's probably about it. And I see that, again, the, uh, the gimbal is it ran through here. One of the things that kind of surprises me is that there isn't, uh, isn't mounted or, you know, a, a female uh, DF-13 type connector in the body that the gimbal would plug into that this plugs into the gimbal, but I guess maybe it makes some sense. Um, just kind of looking, looks like some reset button there, just kind of looking it over. So it's basically the same physical size as the uh, uh, Phantom 3. And again, I'll take these warning covers off, I don't need these. Um, so, you know, again, in the prior video, you probably seen, you know, I did uh, some stuff on, I got those FPV cameras, I've got that uh, Fox Ear and uh, Run Cam 2 uh, in, and I'm going to definitely be uh, building those to mount in here and be able to fly this. So I like where this is setting, so this is rather interesting. So let's go ahead and let's insert the battery again. And uh, see how it looks. Make sure that battery seats in there. It's kind of interesting. Let's see this. So the battery does. Oh, okay. That's that makes me feel better. The battery is far better seated. It was sticking rather proud of there. Uh, so it powers up and everything. So that's a good thing. And the lights flash and you're seeing the lights flash and it's probably unhappy because the controller's not turned on. So let's um, power up the controller. So it definitely sees the controller. So I'm going to have to do the firmware upgrades on this. One of the things from where I purchased it from, and I'll have some links below if, if you're interested in getting one of these too, uh, about where to go to get one. And um, uh, they mentioned to upgrade the firmware. I have already downloaded the ground station for this on the iPad. I think that's been pretty much discontinued, which I really don't understand why. It's it's a quite a bit like Leechy, so I'm I'm not understanding why DJI would abandon something like that and allow third parties to come in. Um, you know, and they can be making extra money, obviously, um, because while not too expensive, they aren't free. So again, this is pretty much charged. 
uh, controller very much feels like a three very light and again I like the idea of you know no monitor no weight I'm going to use this with my um, fly sky or is it sky view or something like that 700 uh, 5.8 gig FPV screen uh, on a separate tripod so I can just sit here and fly this and you know just carry the weight of this transmitter versus uh, that so uh, obviously self-centering sticks and everything like uh, the three so anyways this uh, looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm looking forward to getting uh, uh, getting everything together seeing seeing out the uh, brackets for this um, kind of see how the battery comes in but there's still some room in the front I plan on bringing um, some of the cables out I was thinking about using power off this uh, if it wasn't a DF13 uh, but since it is, I'm going to probably open up the case and take the power off. Um, either the battery leads directly, or let's see how how hard the battery leads would be. I should have shut this off before I pulled that out. Um, so I'm just looking, because the up air is pretty easy to get at, so I'm just trying to look, see, see how that's soldered. So it might be easier just to pop the top of the case off and uh, go with it trying to see how the case is held on here so anyways I'll take a couple look at that and I'll update you guys so anyways this is a brief unboxing of the uh, Phantom 2 uh, I'm looking forward to a lot of flights with this one and again coming up with my own camera systems uh, I've got a few interesting ones in the design stage and so uh, stay tuned I'll share those with you and also the designs so hey if you got any comments hit me up below subscribe buttons coming up over there um, let me know. Let me know what you had for lunch even. Cheers.